Hey y'all, so here is what we are going to do right now. We're gonna try to um, make this slideshow embedded in my Canvas assignment page. So here is the main thing that you have to do that it took me a little while to figure out. <laughs> so you have to move whatever you are going to embed into a specific folder. This will not pull from your recent documents. So like, let's say this is the slideshow I want to use. So I'm gonna go here and I'm going to move it to my Canvas folder. So Canvas, move, good to go. And then it said it's been moved, so I'm all set. So now I'm gonna go to my page. I'm gonna go to my edit button. Now I'm not exactly sure how this is gonna look once it embeds, so I might have to go back in, kind of do a little reformatting. Um, so we will see what that looks like when we get there. So you always have to kind of click on it for it to open up for you. Okay, y'all, let's try to see if we can get this to go. So I am going to unlink this because I want my kids to have a one-stop shop. So I'm going to remove those. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to go and put my cursor there. I don't know if it will put it where my cursor is or not, so we'll see. So go to the bottom, <clears throat> and when it says submission type, you're going to hit external tool, and I'm going to go to find. Now I'm going to find Google Drive Cloud Assignment, and I'm going to click on that. This will open up my Google Drive, and then I'm going to find that Canvas folder here, and then fingers crossed that my file will be there. So here it is, Unit 1, um, Topic 3, Topo Explains. So I'm going to click on that, or click on it once, hit Submit. Then I have to hit Select again and then I have to save it before I can see it. So let's see what this looks like. Probably puts it at the bottom. There we go. So now I'm gonna need to just do a little kind of reorganizing. Maybe I'll get rid of this and put this on a separate page so that way it's not so long. But y'all, like, I mean, this makes me super happy because then they can open it up from here or they can just kind of scroll down. Check that out, y'all. Oh my goodness. I mean, rock on. That's pretty cool. Okay, back one last time to show you how to add a Google Doc. So just kind of one more time, one more walkthrough, um, and just a different type um, of media that you can add. So this is the assignment I'm going to edit. So the only catch with adding an external tool is that it adds it to the bottom of the page. So I'm definitely going to have to go back <clears throat> and reformat. Um, so this is what I'm going to take out, the KWLA chart. And I have my KWLA chart saved to my Canvas folder. So now I'm going to go down here to external tools or a second way that you can do it is up top on this toolbar. You can go to this plug, and then I can search my Google Apps from here. So that's a second way you can do it, and this is a second option for an external tool that you can add. So go to my Canvas folder, and it's right here. It's the KWLA. I'm going to embed, because I don't want to link it. I want to embed. Now, the thing about doing it right there is you notice that I get to put it exactly where I want to, which is pretty awesome. If I do it from down here, it puts it at the bottom of the page. So that's something that I'm just realizing right now because this is the first time I tried it with this one. So now I'm gonna hit save. I wanna see kind of what that looks like. And check it out. Awesome. So, yeah, if it's something that you want at the kind of the bottom of your page, I would suggest using that bottom add external tools in the submission. And if you want it in a specific spot, then I would use that um, plug at the top corner. Reach out if you have any questions, y'all. Talk to you later.